Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach. Today we're looking at more Ecomi Omi stuff. Currently the price 0.002619 on a low of 0.002559 and a high of 0.002708. Over the past 24 hours, nothing crazy really happening. Now, so much is happening. So much is happening. I planned to make this video literally about 10 hours ago, then ballot stuff happened, then there was an NFT summit, which I would highly recommend checking out. We literally just posted a video talking about, well, actually more so reacting to David Yu on a NFT summit. I would highly recommend checking that out. Having said that, we have so much to go over because of course in the title, and I'm not sure what I'm titling this yet, but essentially we're talking about some news regarding Viviverse and of course the new showroom there's so much to go over friends let's jump straight into it so to start with let's do the most obvious thing vv.me right this is the website that we go to uh, when we're looking at vv welcome to the world of digital collectibles etc we've all seen this page before but the website's been updated now we're gonna have a look at this real quick later on but i want to have a look at the vv verse post right here Coming later this year, the Viviverse will offer an immersive metaverse in which fans and collectors can stake their claim in a new collaborative world of collecting. Now, this says a lot, the fact that we have an actual logo finally, and we have a trademark obviously at the end. It means that it's not just a meme, it's not just a, oh yeah, maybe, sort of, no, it's on the website now. Now. Someone I remember actually speaking, uh, I think it was with Reese maybe or Dan, was speaking about the website being totally outdated and how the information that you know, makes people excited about VV really isn't on the website. Now, I think this is the first start of something a lot bigger regarding updates, what we're going to be seeing. And it starts with the website. It starts with the home, right? So this itself, obviously, we have what looks like um, some sort of sci-fi futuristic um sort of film honestly we have obviously a home or a building in the sky uh it's being supported by some sort of foundation here uh, which then leads of course to a very sort of modern looking futuristic honestly uh building right here where we have like a balcony and we have like what looks like a sort of living space now uh, when i click on open new image this is what comes up finally we have a logo for vbverse uh, but if i click on open new image here there's no actual thing here so it's difficult to see the actual image without this, but realistically, I think we have enough to look at just from this. Of course, we have related like, stuff, etc. This is really cool. But this itself, we have spoken so much about the VVverse, about what we can see from it. And this itself, I think, is going to spawn a whole new level of content in as, in as much as we now have real confirmation, essentially, that VV is working on this. And they're coining it, the term VVverse. Obviously, we saw trademarks before. I know that we've seen that. So that was confirmation from a more back-end point of view honestly but this being on the website this is where consumers and clients and etc are going to be looking at this so it's very very exciting having said that we also have virtual showrooms now trevor has said before that we're going to be having a new showroom collectors display the collectibles with pride and with vv continue this in the digital realm create and customize virtual showrooms to showcase your digital collectibles and share this experience with other vv collectors around the world move through your virtual showrooms on your phone fps game style or bring your showroom to life in ar and physically walk through them all on your phone or tablet Lots to go over here. <laughs> Collectors display their collectibles with pride. Okay, so that's the social currency, right? And with Vivi continue this in the digital realm. Create and customize virtual showrooms to showcase your digital collectibles. So this tells me that what we're seeing right here, and actually, let's make it a little more clear, right? Let's go to this right here. What this is telling me is that this isn't gonna be a standard fix, right? We're actually going to see, and we've already known this anyway because Trevor spoke about it, but essentially it seems like we're actually going to be able to design this to our own fitting, right? And that only makes sense because that is how this whole thing is meant to go down, is that VV essentially a lot of this is down to social currency, it's down to fandom, entertainment, and IP. So it wouldn't make sense for this to be completely fixed, and I do think that we'll be able to, you know, have our own sort of thematic maybe even benches and sort of tables and uh, maybe even poster frames etc so that's really exciting 
share this experience with other VV collectors around the world. Now, of course, this shows the real globalized nature, and this isn't anything new on a basis of being able to share things with people around the world. You're watching this video probably not even in the same country as me. So that's obviously nothing new, but as far as the social collaboration end of things, it really does mean that essentially we are going to be able to show people, you know, from around the world, what we're, what we're looking at, what our thing is, and we can look at other people's things, and hopefully even there'll be some sort of chats, that socialization, socialization? Social dynamic, essentially. Move through your virtual showrooms on your phone, FPS game style, or bring your showrooms to life in AR and physically walk through. So that, again, sort of shows that they are publicly now making it very clear what the intention is here. You know, that you can either go FPS game style, which is first-person shooter, which is like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Overwatch, Valorant, etc., or you can use your AR, which of course that itself is developing, it's taking its time, etc. And it's really good that we're seeing both, essentially. We're seeing current gen, which is, I, I would say, your phone, FPS game style. And then we have next gen, which of course is AR. I think some people might not like me using those terms to describe it. I do apologize if you don't like it. But regardless, this is what it looks like. And already this looks beautiful. Just the graphics on this. You know, we have the lights, we have the tiles uh, or the tiling like brick, I guess. Uh, we have wooden flooring. It just looks premium, right? And that very much fits in with the whole VV premium digital collectibles. Now, all of this is awesome, but this isn't the only thing I want to look at because actually David Yu has spoken on Instagram showing this himself. We were going to show it uh, earlier, but like I say, things happen with Valorant and I also had things, well, to record with the NFT thing. So, you know, there's a lot of feedback. Some people are very excited. Some people aren't very excited. Of course, a lot of people on Instagram are um, being idiots. I'm going to put it out there. Come at me. Um, that's all I'm going to say. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people are also being very excited. You know, I can't wait when the VV and Ikomi shock the world. You the big homie. So there are definitely some people who are uh, who are just being awesome. And to be fair, I want to make it very clear. I'm not saying everyone on Instagram is like this. Like, as we can see, we have some really awesome, all, always delivering the heat. For sure, can't wait to see the best hit in the VVverse. So realistically, the community itself in general, the majority, I think, is absolutely amazing and beautiful and all that good stuff. Um, but of course, unfortunately... Um, then we have idiots like this. Great exchange in May. Well done. Like this guy has any idea of what's going on. And um, yeah, well, honestly, maybe he should shut up and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm trying to be positive, right? Okay. And then we have Crypto John tweeting out, Amazon X Ecomi, too many bullish signs. Amazon, essentially, web services, right? Now this right here, David, do you like this? Stefan Merton. Not sorry if I got your sorry if I got your name wrong. Uh, Principal Solutions Architect at AWS. Awesome meeting up with Ecomi. These guys are going to be big. So clearly Ecomi, and this isn't a surprise considering how well um, you know the guys are connected. Uh, but this really does look awesome. And of course, my question to you is, what do you think is going to be the effect of this? Like, what do you think is going to be the result of AWS working uh, with them? Looking at some of the response, we have to be honest, they're probably already utilizing AWS with VV now and are looking to expand resources for Vivi. Uh, this will make 20 drops feel like true drops. Um, order scaling is the magic word. Of course, AWS essentially is what powers a lot of stuff. I know it definitely uh, powers Fortnite as far as Fortnite is on a AWS servers. Um, obviously, that's just me being uh, the gamer that I am, knowing the gaming business um, pretty well. But very, very exciting stuff. And I just wanted to share it all with you. We're going to go over more, of course, of the Viviverse. But if you know anything about the Viviverse, you know that that's a long, long video. In fact, that's many videos so we will be going over more of it i am very excited let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below make sure to keep following this stuff follow me on youtube of course or subscribe i guess is the word i want to use uh for constant uh content coming up and of course follow me on twitter www.twitter.com i'm normally fast with typing i'm just so i get tired by the time i make these videos friends like i make so many videos Y'all just don't see the majority of them because uh, I have a lot of channels. But uh, yeah, no, we literally just spoke about the fact that and we're going to go over this in another video. Uh, but just confirm 300,000 users on VV Collectible. And someone actually pointed out that it sounded like 320k. But of course, like I say here, it did sound like that. But I didn't want to get it wrong because people come after me. People come after me already. Like people are already DMing me like, you're an idiot. I'm like, fine, great, awesome. Love that you're putting your energy into that. That being said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube. I appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.